Look, it was a strange device like a thermos cup, so she took the thermos home quietly. Curious, she pressed the switch on it a few times, but found that the thermos did not respond at all. Instead, something like a bracelet was removed from it. I put it on my wrist to try it out. It doesn't seem to be anything special. So she unscrewed the screw on the thermos. Then she took off the protective cover and took a look, and she found a transistor that was completely burnt out. So she asked her crush, Carl, out. What he's doing? Why? Just as Carl went up to talk to the man, she snuck into the toolbox in the man's car and quickly searched for a transistor that would fit a thermos to see what the thermos could really do. Then she immediately went home and compared the sizes. Sure enough, it's the same model as the transistor of the thermos, so she replaced the transistor with a new one. Then she took off one of the bracelets from the thermos and brought it to her wrist. Can't wait to hit the switch. Suddenly the whole world is quiet. The girl realized immediately that something was wrong. Rushed up from the basement to take a look. She found her father, who was writing. Motionless, she rushed to the kitchen to check on him. She found her mother washing dishes in the kitchen. Even the water coming out of the tap seems to have a pause button pressed. Strange stillness in midair. The girl stared at the magical thermos in her hand. Seems to have suddenly had a brilliant idea. So she came to school early the next morning. She took Carl to the dugout in a secretive manner. He took off the two bracelets from his thermos. After she and Carl each put on a bracelet, without hesitation, she pressed the switch on the thermos. Without hesitation, they pressed the switch on the thermos, then walked outside with Carl to take a look, but bizarrely found the students in the corridor. As if they'd pressed the pause button. As if they'd pressed the pause button. They're all frozen in place. Carl was puzzled and asked Anna, why are they the only ones who can move freely? Anna pointed to the metal ring on her wrist. She said that the person wearing the bracelet would be unaffected, but Anna didn't know whether the suspension is only for schools or for the whole world. So the two immediately ran outside the school to see but they realized that she had pressed the pause button on the whole town. The old man bending over to pick up something on the side of the road, the woman in the hat trying to get into her car to leave, and the man on the bike. All of them remained frozen in the moment when the pause button is pressed. Then they went into a pub down the road, drinking the best drinks in the pub. And after a good deal of bonding, the two of them, they ran straight into the middle of the road. They started pulling radishes in broad daylight. It's not a very good clip. I've watched it for you. Anna is so refreshed after pulling radishes. She takes Carl to the shopping street. She invaded all the brand shops with impunity. All kinds of luxury goods that you can't usually afford. Load up your shopping cart as you wish, and then went to live in the most luxurious villa in the rich neighborhood for the next month. Except for the occasional archery practice, the rest of the time, they spent almost all their time pulling carrots. I know you don't like this clip. I had to watch it alone. That's all. The two of them stick together like glue every day. Everyone gets bored with each other one day, so they decided to make time normal again. And when they hit the switch, it didn't work. House. They opened the toolbox in the car and searched. They found no transistors in the toolbox. They had to go into the engineer's house. They were looking for transistors all over the house. Anna was surprised to see her mother just pulling carrots at the engineer's house. Anna felt ashamed and angry. She threw her mom's clothes outside. She was so angry that she wanted to leave her mother with nothing to wear. Carl wanted to stop her childish behavior. He didn't know what he was doing and got into a fight. Just what? Why are you being this way? What way? Like a bitch. Don't call me a bitch, you cripple. That's it. The two of them hurt each other badly. After Carl left the transistor he found with Anna, he turned around and left without looking back. Anna returned to the engineer's house to retrieve the thermos cups that had been left in the house. She saw the joy on her mother's face. I thought back to my mom's usual sullen look. Suddenly, I felt that I had gone too far. I rushed out to look for Carl. She ended up running all over town, but there was still no sign of Carl. But when she got to the lake where she found the thermos, she found Carl standing there facing the lake. Anna rushed forward to apologize to Carl. She said she shouldn't have hurt you with her words, and she was in tears for a long time. Carl just stood there and didn't respond, so she leaned over to take a look and saw a sight that broke her heart. Carl had taken off his bracelet. He had broken his promise, leaving Anna alone in this world. Anna was no longer in love with him, decisively pressed the thermos on the key, and let the world go back to normal at the same time. She held on to the last piece of cleanliness in her heart. This is the end of the film. If you like it, give it a follow and we'll see you next time.